Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Unreal 2 The Awakening, Camp Jack Fisco. Last we left off, we're in the bio lab, which is probably the source of this insanity. Doors are sealed, so we're going upstairs first. I'm okay with that, it gives us a chance to see our surroundings. That way, we're not blindly fumbling into something big, ugly, and nasty that probably just made a giant asshole in the floor, and that's not good. The hell happened to that wall? So this is where the spiders are coming from. It's a breeding farm. What are you talking Biological about? Biological experiments. The little ones walk through the beam and suck the edge of the machine. Somehow they got out. Not only that, but this beam has been split. It has only a fraction of the original's power. If one of these creatures makes its way to the source, there's a chance that might happen to it. That's where the artifact is. So that's where I gotta go. Oh dear, letting him out might have been a mistake. What's in cage two? I'm not sure what the hell that thing is. That's a much bigger version of it. Now they don't seem to hate each other. Let's add a third one to the mix. I'm sure, nothing could go wrong by adding more enemies for us to fight. Okay, those two do not like each other. What's in the last cage? Was there anything in the last cage? Maybe not. There's no way to turn the beam off, is there? Great. There's really no way to turn the beams off. Um, yeah, I'm starting to regret releasing those guys. There's a hole there. That doesn't go anywhere. I don't think there's anything in here other than the, whatever the hell that fishy thing is. Die, whatever the hell you are. Good grief. Die, you overgrown thing! Where the hell are you? Takes a lot of ammo. Can we even kill these things? That's dry. Grenades work on this soul, bitch? the hell? Are these things just invulnerable? Okay. Uh, now I really regret releasing those bastards. So they're coming out of the wall, it looks like. Yep, they're coming out of the wall. Okay, we're obviously going this way. Get off me. Yeah, go swimming in whatever the hell that shit is. Whoa! Hi! I was not expecting that. I should have been, but I wasn't. Die, overgrown arachnid. Six legged arachnid. Lies. Yeah, you, you light on fire and die. You too. Shields! Ammo for everything. Sweet, soothing health. Okay, so... What the hell's over here? Is there anything over here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, fight the little ones. Might as well pull out the dispersion pistol. Okay, good. We can't shoot these things. I'll make our lives a little easier. So far, so good, I guess. Everything but assault rifle ammo. Okay. We've got tox grenades. Which I get the feeling we're gonna need for the boss dude. Whatever the hell that is on this level. 
Which I'm guessing is probably gonna be some Mondo ass spider. Gonna shut it down, the controls are right next to it, but be careful, something else is in there, something big. I think the audio log forgot to play. How big you say, huh? Peachy. There we go. Defeat the queen! Oh yeah. This'll go well. Suck acid, bitch! Ha ha ha! Can't even move, can you? Ow! Who the hell said she gets force push? What is this nonsense? Reload, man! Reload! Take out the eggs. There's really no way to dodge that. Okay, the lower ones you can jump over. Got her! Holy crap. Glad I saved the grenade launcher for the end. Holy hell. Hop off over here. Bitch! How you like me now? Huh? Okay. Oh, we had a healing, or at least a shield recharger the whole fight. So if we did actually go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, we wouldn't have been totally massacred. That's a good thing. Okay. Get the flamer handy, just in case. Turn this thing off, man. Give me the damn artifact before something else goes. Looks like a face. Okay. Two artifacts down. One looked like horns and a crown. This one looks like a face. Home sweet home. A lot less of the eight-legged or even six mutant variety. Ah, the sweet soothing sounds of the space. Which is, you know, not like, because it's, it's, it's space. You know, I, uh, I'll stop talking now. <laughs> okay, carrying on. Okay. Let's get the hell out of this thing. Hey, Ida. The sector commander is on hyperlink. He wants to talk with you. That's all? I killed a million arachnids, recover an alien artifact, and this is all the thanks I get? <laughs> Congratulations. You're a hero. Let's go. <laughs> I like her. She is snarky as hell. Just a minute. Okay, we gotta wait till she gets there, so I'm gonna run around the ship, see if we can talk to everybody else first. Nobody in here. Hatch below. Doesn't look like there's anything there, doesn't matter. We're not gonna play hunt the little critter between every level. That's just ridiculous. She treats me like scum. A long time ago, maybe. But not now. So she is wrong. You should tell her so. Unless you are authority. Marshall said she has a problem with authority. Mm. Hey, Isaac. Nabon, how's it going? I am very confusing. What are you confused about? All these corporations, mercenary forces, Alien races. I am mixing them over. Can't tell the players without a program, eh? Okay, let me give you some quick background on each of them. This is kind of cool because you actually get to learn about the different factions, too. As Earth expands in this sector of space, different corporations are establishing colonies on uninhabited planets. They do everything from creating vacation resorts to mining exotic ores to terraforming. We and the Terran Colonial Authority patrol between the planets to keep the peace. 
Great job. Corporations try to get away with a lot out here, and they hire mercenary forces to help them get their way. We often find ourselves fighting the mercs to defend civilians who work for their own corporation. Cute. If we run into something we can't take on alone, we call in the Marines. Lovely. Axon is on our side. They're a private company who works hand in hand with our military to research and develop new weapons. Sweet. The Leandri Corporation is a heavy industrial and mining combine with installations on dozens of planets. They defend their interests with an army of genetically engineered female warriors who have been raised since birth to be fighters. The Leandri Angels are cold, dispassionate, and highly efficient. They're among the elite of industrial mercenary forces. And they're also the ones in Unreal Tournament, which I will be playing after this one. The Izanagi is a broad-based conglomerate modeled on the ancient Japanese Kuritsu. They're into whatever makes money, and they protect themselves with an elite core of merc soldiers fanatically loyal to the corporation who call themselves Ghost Warriors. Comforting. The Scar are a power-hungry race who have been trying to expand into this sector of space. Normally, their highly tribal social structure prevents them from working together. But recently, we've seen unusual examples of cooperation between the clans, which can only spell trouble for us. Their warriors are all highly independent, intelligent, and very dangerous fighters. And the whole reason why they're at war with us is because the prisoners that crash landed on the planet and massacred hundreds of them. After that, they didn't really have a fond view of humans anymore, so it was kind of our fault and unreal. The Azarians are borderline psychotic aliens who seem to live to fight. They had conquered a small area of space and subjugated a few minor races. Then they ran into the Scar and became slaves themselves. With their sadomasochistic tendencies, we're not at all sure they mind. Well, it works out well for them. The Kai are an old, semi-nomadic race that has spread from planet to planet, taking a keen interest in the archaeology, folklore, and traditions of each. They stay on the fringes of society, however, and make their way by performing menial tasks wherever they go. That's who the other aliens were we saw on the base. They were the Kai. They are not a known aggressor race, and they're not indigenous to hell. We think they're just creatures who were imported from off-planet to the labs and then mutated under the influence of the energy beam and the artifact. Got it now? We straighten them on? So where did Isaac go? Oh, he's not in there. Well, he wouldn't be in there with a the little critter. Okay, he's not in Nabon's quarters. Where is he? God, this game needs a faster spur. I understand we're in power and we can't move that fast, but still. Hey, Isaac. Damn, I thought I fixed that. Damn, I thought I fixed that. Okay, I guess he's not talking to us yet. So we will head down and see what Ida has cooked up for us. Something about talking to the general again. I think. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't really paying attention to her, and that's kind of bad. Do you want to activate the hyperlink with the sector commander? Yeah, sure, Fire what the up. hell. Go ahead and use this keyboard. Once you're hooked up, I'll wait by the door to give you the illusion of privacy. Oh, gee, thanks. You're all heart. Illusion of privacy eavesdropping little second command. Anyway. Good work recovering the artifact, John. Let me give you some history. A little over a year ago, our Axon Corporation discovered two of these artifacts and set up labs on Hell and Janus to study them. Okay. What do these things do? No one knows. We know they're virtually indestructible, and that they emit energy in a way we haven't begun to understand. So you started messing with them. Brilliant. How many of them are there? Seven. Buried on different planets for millions of years. Unfortunately, the Izanagi and Leandri Corporations caught on and have started massive hunts on their own. Great. How do the Scar fit in? They know we want them, so they want them too. So what comes next? You may yet get your wish, John. General Drexler is temporarily recommissioning your ship as a Marine Corvette. <laughs> as of now, 
You and your crew are all temporarily restored to your former ranks. Okay, Will guess we were Marines. Perhaps. I've been brevetted to the Marines as well. And your orders will come through me. Afterwards, I'll go back to the TCA. But you might be in for good. I've already briefed Ida on your next destination. Good luck, John. And good hunting. Thanks, Chief. Seven, huh? And we have two of them. This will be fun. Yes. What do you think is going on? I've dealt with Drexler before. He's a weasel. Don't trust him. You have to trust someone, Ida. That's how organization works. Otherwise, everything will just fall apart. Christ, would you listen to yourself? This is the military we're talking about. She has a point. I'm telling you, it still comes down to people. Of course, he has a point, too, so... Has anyone deciphered the glyphs on the artifacts? Don't know. But you can bet they're trying. Yeah. I can't believe I'm back in. Don't get your hopes up. If they make this permanent, I'll eat a snipe. I don't want my old rank back, and Isaac doesn't deserve his. Drexler is just using you, John. Now what can you tell me about Asheron? Alright, time for the actual briefing. Fire away, Ida. Asheron is the strangest planet in the sector. It's a T-class world orbiting the star NC-867. It doesn't look like it's made of rock. What's interesting is that the surface of the planet is covered by a single gigantic organism that has that. breathing tubes the size of subway tunnels and spores as big as starships. That would be why it doesn't look like rock. The Izanagi Corporation has been methodically killing this creature as they terraform the planet. They've built a ring of giant chemical reactors to convert the atmosphere to Earth's standard oxygen-nitrogen levels, which the organism doesn't seem to tolerate. What does this sound like? I've it's going to backfire on us. From the marine scout probe. I don't have a bad feeling we're pissing the organism off. Okay. Days ago, all terraforming efforts stopped, and the Izanagi forces converged on a single dig site. We believe they have found an artifact and are about to take it off-world. Okay. We are cloaking in one day ahead of a marine attack force. Our mission is to gather intel only. Do not get close enough to be detected. Do not engage in combat. Who, me? The station is guarded by Izanagi ghost warriors who have no love for us at all. Your dropship will land about here. Okay. You can take this road up to the facility, and from there you'll be on your own. Sounds simple enough. What's the catch? Be careful, John. I've asked Isaac to give you my pistol, Grace. Nice. She and I have been through a lot together, and I'd feel better knowing you have her down there to back you up. Isaac is ready for you, and Aban has some questions. If you haven't spoken with him yet, you can probably find him on the bridge. Good luck. Thanks. Let me get out of your way here. Yeah, for some reason the, the cutscenes seem to like chopping off the top of people's faces. I think that's because the game isn't used to being run widescreen, so it's adding black bars during the cutscene. So I think that's why it's chopping the faces off, because it didn't do that the first time I played this game. What were all those do nots again? Fuck <laughs> yours, Dalton. Recon only. Oh, I love that response. Why do the Izanagi mercs call themselves ghost warriors? It's the name of the fighting elite of the original Izanagi clan. What's the deal with this giant organism? Its yeah. origin is unknown. However, most of the planet's ecosystem is bound up with it in some way. Just as our bodies contain millions of microscopic bacteria, the organism is host to countless parasitic and symbiotic creatures. It has seas of mucus-like fluid, which act as digestive tar pits and which also collect and distribute solar energy. Interesting. The spores surrounding the planet seem to be some kind of defensive reaction to the Izanagi's terraforming. You'd think. Sure doesn't like being Thanks. executed. <laughs> hey, Nabon. Okay, yeah, he just asked about the corporation, so we're good. Now we get to find out about the pistol, which is an awesome gun. What's up, boss? 
I just got off the blower with the sector commander. We all just got our military ranks back. See, I don't know, John. Last time I was in uniform, it didn't turn out so good. Just ask Ida. That was a long time ago, Isaac. You've changed. You'll do better this time. We'll see. What do you know about the Ghost Warriors? Well trained. Some live by the old samurai code. Others are just in it for the action. So, you ready for some new weapons? Hell yeah. Fire away. I'm tinkering with that arachnid biomass you found on Hell. I'm thinking uh -oh. I can make a weapon out of it. Anyway, I've added the flamethrower to your loadout, and I swapped with a buddy to get incendiary grenades for the launcher. Nice. I dropped off her magnum as well. I'm surprised she's willing to part with it. Quite take a few your pick. Days. Let's hear about the magnum. Let's take a look at Grace. I just had her forever. She's a really sweet weapon. 50 caliber explosive ammunition. Nice. Very accurate and very powerful. Alt fire is a three round burst that takes a little longer to reload. Use her for medium range targets when you're too far away for a shotgun, but too close for the sniper rifle. Anything nice. else? Yeah, tell me How about does the grenades. incendiary grenade work? Sprays burning phosphorus will set almost anything on fire. Make sure you don't get caught in the backflash. Be skake. Run down the flamethrower for me. Yes, its by all name means. pretty much says it all. The Vulcan uses canisters of napalm for ammo and shoots out a spray of flaming gas. Just point and shoot to incinerate a whole crowd of enemies in close quarters. Alt fire is a spray of unignited napalm that'll stick to any surface. You can set it off with primary fire or with one of your other weapons. But it's unstable enough that after a few seconds, it'll probably ignite anyway. Interesting. What'll it be? Yeah, what's this this biomass stuff you speak of? Uh, that's not one of the options. It must not be available yet. Later. Oh, he said he was tinkering with it, so it's not ready yet. Well, we're going to head for the ship, but... We're out of time. We're already running over the 20-minute mark by quite a bit. So thank you, everybody, for watching. You guys are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoy them. So you all take care of yourselves, and if you want to see more of me, keep up another video on the list, or stay tuned for more. In the next episode, we go investigate. It's recon. I'm sure it'll go well. We won't be seen. It'll be fine. We'll just go to the planet, spot it out, come back. It'll be peachy. Right? In the meantime, goodbye, everybody.